hoje dia de surpresas, né? Vida de comunidade é assim, né? Today, day of surprises, life of communities like this, right? But it is a joy to be together at this moment. I hope afterwards we can pass to other farms. The work is always in the path. Living in community means to always have surprises, have news, inspirations, because God is behind. Since the beginning it was like this, very little until the thing grew without stopping. When we were in Israel in an interview with Friar Bruno, he was so inspired, it was something that surprised me. But he became amazed and he said, what was announced here in Nazareth, you are living. Let's do an exchange of gifts, of presents, from the sanctuary and our sanctuary of hope. And this idea went growing and was also beautiful this time when I'm more isolated. I had more time to talk to the artist Lorenzo, also with Friar Bruno, and the ideas went ahead. Now, the stained glass artwork is ready and the idea, and we thought of taking to Nazareth in June. On the 29th, when we celebrate the 35 years of the existence of the farm, and the 30th, two days, when also comes the bishops, all the friars, it is a very special moment. Now, the idea and this I wanted today to put in the hearts of all of you, especially the X and the Living Hope groups, the idea that this stained glass art you should donate to Our Lady, as like saying, Our Lady, you one day said your yes, and this yes permitted that God would become flesh. God made himself word, he made himself mercy, and this mercy arrived to me. I am someone who experienced this mercy, who received this mercy. And today I want to thank you. I want to be part of those who take a visible sign from Nazareth to so many people of the entire world who pass here, see the stained glass that talks exactly of this annunciation, this word that later comes to us. You shall see the video, very beautiful, very beautiful. We see how this mercy that arrives to each one passes through the sanctuary, passes through our charism of hope and goes back to God. So we would like that each one who know already now in your heart, you say, Our Lady, I shall help with 50 or 100. You say in your heart how much you want to give. And like this, all the X and the Living Hope groups together shall struggle to pay the stained glass artwork that we shall take to Nazareth. It shall be very beautiful. I wouldn't like that one would come and pay for everything. But exactly this communion of many make that such a valuable work arrives to Nazareth. Some may ask, but Friar, how much does it cost? I don't want to frighten no one, but a stained glass window is already costly because there are many little pieces of glass, and it is a height of 3 meters and 20 centimeters, so it shall cost 130,000 reais, just the part of the art. But then there are 
the bars that have done to be done, the blacksmith has already been there to take the measures, then there are the tickets of, for transport and etc. We calculate around 200,000, so if each one gives his part, which can be 50 or 100, very fast we shall have the money gathered. We count with each one of you. Now, if you cannot do your part, that is your problem. The yes of Our Lady arrived to all the world, and your yes can also go back to Nazareth and be visible in this stained glass art. But we are not going simply to take the stained glass. We shall have something else that Nelson will tell us now. Those who are present in this studio are having the grace of participating of a very particular moment. And in the moment that Father Luis was talking, and we were watching from there, already living the experience that others may live by watching from the screen, it touched me when Father Luis said that a house is built with the bricks. And each one of you, also those who are in the recovering time, already can feel invited by Mary, by her son Jesus, to participate of building more than a house, the building of this sign that we want to leave in Israel. But we don't want that this work is transported by a company. We wanted that it would be transported by you. So came the idea that we repeated at this that we would repeat at this year of 2018 the experience that many of you more or less already heard about, the International Missionary School. You already heard about it, right? So this international missionary school that happened with the girls and boys, together with the founders, Iraci and Lucy, Fryer and I, we had the grace of fulfilling in Europe when we passed through the farms in Europe. And when in this occasion we still inaugurated four communities, and it was an experience that marked the heart not only of those who participated that were almost 60, like also all the people with whom we met. Of this group, 30 decided not to go back to their homes, but stay helping in the farms of Europe and also of here, of Brazil, and even in other countries, like, for example, Philip in Mexico and others, and we wanted to invite again the ex-boys and girls. And since it shall happen in June of next year of 2018, some of you that are here and that are watching now probably are ready already will have finished your recovery time, for together with us, go to the Holy Land, go to Israel, to take this stained glass work of art and get to know all the places where Jesus passed, and in particular where he was conceived, in the moment of the Annunciation, and in this Basilica where shall be put the stained glass artwork that you shall see now in the video. So what Frey Hans and I said now is to inter introduce the, this video that you shall see and go asking yourself what is the form that you shall participate, be it in the building of the stained glass artwork or who knows going with us in the 18th of June of 2018 for us to take this sign. It shall be 21 days of peregrination, but at the same time of mission. It shall be a time of formation and retreat. And why not say also a time in which you can understand more in depth the call that God is doing to you.
As it was for those who participate with us, many of them found their way, their vocation, their call, in this occasion that they were with us in this missionary school of three months. This one shall be smaller, but will have the same intensity, still even bigger, than that one that we lived in this year of 2017. So let's see now the video that was prepared now by Alexei with lots of care and brings the images there of the city of Nazareth, of the Basilica of the Annunciation, the interviews with Friar Bruno, this friar that you heard about, the guardian responsible for the Basilica of the Annunciation, the images also of the interview with the artist Lorenzo, and some other explanations for afterwards we close this moment, okay?